Hello girls! Let's talk about all kinds of things spring because happening over on IG I've had so much spring content and I am here for it. I love spring. It is one of my absolute favorites. I'm also a spring baby myself so of course I feel like it's inevitable for me to love it. So on today's video we are going to talk about Easter basket goodies and then we are also going to talk about some fine china. So let's stay tuned for this video and let's get into details. Now, of course, I got to get into the little nitty and gritty. Most of these things are purchased by me. There are a few things that are sponsored by some lovely boutiques, and I'm going to be happily to share those with you. These are companies that I reached out to and said, hey, let's work together. So these are things that I genuinely love and really wanted um, to share with you, such as the plates are gifted from the Delicate Dish. And then, of course, I have um, the beautiful uh, dress in the Easter basket. It is from the Biddy Boutique off of Etsy and then I'm going to be a door wreath that is also shared from Home Theme Home. They're on IG. I love her stuff. I think the quality is such an exceptional um, item and I just can't wait to share those little clips with you. So those things are sponsored but they were genuinely picked out by me and I really really wanted to share with you. So let's get into the other little details. Holidays are something that I always go all out in. Um, I just love a good decorating moment. I love a good dress up moment. I love a good excuse to be creative um, and express that in the gifts of forms. So I'm gonna go over the Easter basket that I created um, for my daughter. This one is so cute. The little eyelet detailing around the basket. The one thing I really like about the basket is the handles fold. So it's gonna be really easy to store it for years to come. This one is from Pottery Barn. Of course, I'll have everything linked down below. So anything you see today is going to be linked in those um, LTK links down below. But love this one. It even has the little bow tie detail. I love, love, love the little eyelet detail that is on this basket. And then of course, it is a like a genuine natural um, a basket. So in the side of here, I packed away these cute little sunnies. They say her name and then it has the fairy and stars. And I just think this is so cute for any little girl's wardrobe. I picked up a cute little lip balm. She is totally into everything makeup right now. So found this at the dollar store and I knew that needed to be inside her basket. Another item I did put in her basket are these super cute little bunny crayons. They did come in like a rectangle like white box, um, but it didn't fit super great in the basket. So I picked up one of these little white meshes and then I put the little crayons in it and I just thought that was really cute. This one is the um, pastel collection, so it has like a little rainbow one, a pink one, navy blue, blue, green, all kinds of fun colors. Now, my daughter is in everything sprinkles, so when we have ice cream here at home, she loves a traditional vanilla ice cream, and so I have an array of sprinkles in our cabinet, and when I saw this little bottle at Walmart, let's see here. When I saw this little bottle at Walmart and it has a little daisy and these little fun sprinkles, I knew I had to add this into her little Easter basket because I just thought that was so fun and cute. I tried to stay away from all the candies and things like that in her basket. Um, so that was like something that was like a nice little like treat inside there. The other thing I put in her basket because she is growing so much and we, we were in need of new clothes for her all together. So this one is the one from Biddy Boutique that was so kind and sent it over for her. I just think it is so cute. I got her monogram but put in it and it is a pretty pink gigam dress. I just think you just can't go wrong with putting something so sweet um, and memorable inside their basket. I just... I think it's so cute. So the really good thing about her, you can pick your monogram font, you can pick your monogram color, and then of course you can always pick out the different type of dresses that are available. This one just happened to be the one that I went for. And the dress is also fully lined. I love the length on the dress. I don't like anything too short on her. Um, so this one was definitely a win. Really, really cute. Love it. The quality has been pretty amazing. The other thing is she's really big into Hello Kitty. So when I found this one off of Amazon, I just thought it was so cute. Like I totally needed her. Like, I mean, she is just so cute. She is a little bunny one. And then of course the little cute little prince. 
You know, you do all of the things to prep for these videos. And I make sure my camera was charged. I make sure to have all the lighting charged, all of the things. And then the one thing I forget to check on was the memory on my card for the, uh, the camera. So I'm not quite sure where I left off when I was talking about the super cute bunny, but let's get back into that. So I just knew she needed this super cute little like Hello Kitty lovey. It's super, super soft. I love all of the things about that bunny. And then I picked up a pack of bubbles off of uh, Walmart. I think they were like a dollar and then of course it had Hello Kitty on it. So it was going to be like a definitely like a Hello Kitty like Easter array here. Grab this super cute book. I always try to include a theme book in Christmas, Easter, um, all of the holidays kind of thing. So found this one. Thought this was so cute and girly. It was about Easter and also about a bunny. She's been asking us for a bunny, so I thought this was a really, really cute book um, to share with her. And then, same thing with these. I love these little pack-and-go um, packs that have, like, coloring sheets. It has a couple pieces of crayons in it. I just think it's so cute. And it also has stickers. I think these are, like, a dollar, and I think I got this one. I want to say it was from Target or from Walmart, one of the two. So, as far as the other things that I got for her that do not fit in the basket, which also came a little later than when I arranged the basket, are these super cute little bunny slippers. Like, how cute are these? Oh my gosh, these are really darling. Like, like these are so cute. I just think they're darling. Um, so, I can't wait to give those to her. And then... We picked this one up from the dollar store, and I said, when we, is I usually go with my hubby. So her, him and I picked, like, these things out for her. And we found this little Barbie magnet activity kit. We love these things for her just because, one, they're things that are easy to keep her busy. Um, also really great for, like, restaurants in the car. And so this little Barbie magnet one was a huge win. And then one of my other favorite things that we did this Easter for her was this little Play-Doh kit. I did find this off of a small boutique off of Etsy, and it comes with three Play-Dohs, um, and then it has, like, this one set is, like, all ballerina stuff, so they have, like, different things for girls and boys. You can get them in, like, ballerina, you can get them in dinosaurs, you can get it in all kinds of, like, themes. I think she had, like, a sea theme, like, mermaids, and I went ahead and chose to do the one for the ballerina. As you can see, some of, like, the little trinkets that you can put inside the little Play-Doh. She included a wand and then of course she included in this little cute case and then tied a cute little bow so these are things that I'm like super excited for her to receive for Easter they're things that can keep her busy keep her exploring um and utilize and stuff like that and it's not just like another thing like added um to her cart and then of course here's the basket and I just tied on a cute little bow. I tried to keep this short and sweet because if you have kids like me, um, you know that you are in a very short time frame. So I wanted to keep it short and sweet. So the next little slides on this video are all going to be tablescape. So I'm going to get you ready for your table for Easter, spring, um, Mother's Day. It would be really cute for Mother's Day just to kind of take away some of the like Eastery things and I think it would be beautiful for a Mother's Day tablescape as well. I'm so excited to share you share with you a couple of the plates and then I got a lots of little clips that you get to enjoy.
enjoyed all of those clips. I also have a lot of photos over on IG and as well as champagnepaddlesblog.com. There's some really, really cute ones for some really great inspiration. So some of the little breakdowns, I wanted to show a little more of the detail of some of the plates. I think they are just so divine and gorgeous. I just went ahead and pulled uh, two of the bowls out and also two of the plates that kind of give you like a little close up um, of them. So I did request six bowls and six plates um, from the delegate dish. She was so kind and she was so lovely to work with. Um, hands down, one of my best experiences. I am feel so honored um, to be able to get to work with her. And what's really cool with her boutique is you just request six or you request eight or you request 12, whatever your tablescape number is. And the package comes as a complete surprise. So you just pay for a six, eight, whatever number, five, four. Um, and you can kind of give her a couple of little details like, hey, I really like pinky tones or hey, I really like blues or stay away from the heavy golds. That was one of my requests. I wanted to stay away from a lot of the heavier golds and I wanted more of the pinky tones. And then she curates the most beautiful interchangeable plates and bowls that can cohese with each other without being identical or the same. And then when you receive them, it's like Christmas, like literally like Christmas. I don't know if you watched my little short on um, Instagram. I was just like blown away. One, she had it packaged amazingly like the quality of packaging was top notch for my liking and then having to unwrap each one and seeing the unique pieces was just mind-blowing and then we also had a moment in my package where she sent me a I think it was a bowl yes it was a bowl of a print and I was like I know this print like how do I know this print and I was like, I don't know if it's just a print I've seen at an antique store recently or if it's just a print I really liked. Um, but I was like, I've seen this print. And sure enough, I was sitting at my dining table and I have a beautiful plate wall. And sure enough, one of the plates on my wall was the same as that bowl. And here's the crazier part is that plate is also my mother-in-law's plate. She has had since she was a kid and it was like, that's all she used like when she was a kid and then her mom made sure to give her that plate um, like older to hold on to and stuff like that. So she passed it down to me to put on the plate wall since she doesn't actively use it. I just thought that was the most beautiful cherishing moment to make that connection. Like how she noticed in me that bowl. Like I just thought that was just like the most wild blown like mind-blowing situation I just thought it was like man this is so meant to be and I still feel so honored and so blessed to be able to have that collaboration with her but enough with my rambling right here is one of the beautiful plates like how gorgeous is that and then here is another one of the plates like I mean all six that she sent me was just like divine so like for instance so you have this like beautiful plate right here and then you, obviously you can see that this bowl is different but then when you stack them like how gorgeous does that come together and then like you can change it like hold on let's set this right here so like say we take this plate and then look like how pretty does that look like together so you really can't go wrong you'll you know, like you won't mess up your table like they're all gonna look really like really really pretty that is the one thing I've learned this last year was to let go of the matchy matchy. Every time I would buy something, I'm like, does that match the same colors I already have going on? I was a little too scared to kind of like step out of my comfort zone and like be okay with things like piecing together. So this last year I told myself, I'm like, I love that so much. I'm going to stop worrying about that. Like I'm just going to go with the flow. And so far, everything I've done to my home has so cohesively gone together. So my one little piece of advice today is be okay with the mix match. Embrace it. Love it. Um, and I promise you can't go wrong and it will turn into like your unique style for you. Um, which I thought was just really cute. So, anywho, I guess I will in the video here I'm not quite sure if you guys have any questions definitely feel free to drop them in the comments down below because I would love to answer them because I do feel like I am 
missing something here but I also try to be a little bit mindful and not have these videos go so long because I really could sit here and talk to you all day long especially when I'm passionate about home stuff and being creative and all the things so I really hope you enjoyed those videos and those little clips definitely check out the photos over on Instagram and I really hope that these Easter basket picks kind of help drive your creativity and pick something really unique for your children or child or children girl or boy um just to kind of give some like ideas but until next time bye